So your blade's got a bend in it and you want to straighten it out. But then someone goes, no, don't do that. You'll break it. Heat it up first. And I was wondering how true actually is this? Because anecdotally, I swear I break more blades when it's cold. And I'm sure that friction helps to straighten a blade. But also, scientifically, it doesn't really seem right that you can make enough heat through friction to significantly affect the malleability of the steel. So I did a little experiment. I tied a weight to the end of the blade, measured the temperature and measured how much it would bend. I used four different blades and tested each blade heated and unheated. On two of the blades I did the unheated measurement first and on the other two I did the heated measurement first. I did this as I thought maybe the first bend might soften the blade somehow, so doing both orders should hopefully even that out. I wrote down the results and made a little spreadsheet. And of the four blades, there was an average increase in bendiness by 1.75 millimeters. Which, when you take into account all the possible measuring errors and many flaws in the experiment, probably isn't enough evidence to suggest that heating the blade under your foot makes a difference. However, I had only been heating the blade to around 15 to 20 degrees, because to be honest, I was quite lazy. If I really try, I can get it to about 40 degrees. So I had another go, and uh, I tried using a blowtorch, but it was quite windy, so that didn't really work. So I went back to the old-fashioned way, and with a bit more elbow grease, this time I got it to as high as 30 degrees. And if I get these new data points and plot them with the others, I get this nice graph. And I can fiddle with the axis and I can make it align as steep as I like, isn't that neat? But um, to be honest, it didn't seem worth doing any form of statistical analysis on this data. There's not enough data points and there are too many flaws in the test. Like, for example, when I rub the blade under my foot, the blade won't be heated evenly throughout the blade. And each blade would have been heated slightly differently in different ways in different parts of the blade. So I don't think we can conclude that heating the blade under your foot makes a difference. So then I just did what any sane person does and did some googling. And yeah, it looks like the heat you can generate from friction, which is like if the blade starts around 5 degrees, I could get it up to just over 40 this is probably not enough to ever make much of a difference to the steel. Anyway, I'm sure there are plenty of you with a lot more knowledge in physics, engineering, material science, etc. So let me know what you think in the comments below.